Hello, David. Um, right. Um, firstly, I wouldn't call this a, a proper 2B, really. It's a, um, you know, if you look on the line chart, it's more of a 1, 2, 3 reversal. Uh, didn't really make a proper higher high. And I think, although it wouldn't make a lot of difference anyway, I don't think it was overextended particularly um, when um, you considered trading. It's moved on extra 80 pips, so it wasn't... It, if my calculation is correct, it's, it wasn't overextended. So always look for trading reversals when it's overextended. Um, not sure how far it was away from the hourly ATMA either. Need to check that. Um, insert moving average. Eight MA and just on the hourly. Uh, yeah, it wasn't overextended from that either. So really, you want to be um, for a rubber band reversal trade. Uh, you need to be uh, nice and far away from the hourly eight EMA. Um, so uh, we're right into it. But the main thing that uh, that I would say caused a problem with this trade was trading into this area of uh, resistance come support here so basically you can draw a level on there and um, you want to be closed at least closed through the the, the least the, the lowest resistance level which in this instance is that red candle there but when um, you have uh, a normal one two three reversal or a 2b reversal you need to watch for this uh, scenario here and try to be below it so if I can show you a decent example of a 2b reversal which I couldn't really find on here this is the second attempt at this video so apologies um, what's that one there yeah no that's no good let's try a 30 minute chart there's a one two three that um, is definitely uh, the correct way and we can see it's gone down because you have uh, the the low the lower high and then when it comes down to break through it's broken through all the resistance and although this this would cause a problem and that would be really the target because of the red bar there um, it was an inside bar so it's not considered to be too bad and as you can see the price pushed down so always when you're entering you want to be in this situation where you haven't got in this in the one two three it, because that was what that was you haven't got a resistance level uh, uh, below you when you get your three candle reversal hopefully that makes sense same here this is a one two three reversal in fact that you could yeah that's a 2b more like so yeah tr try and look for a proper example Real pain, isn't it? When you're trying to look for something, you can't find it. Must just be the way oil moves. Perhaps that's telling us something. That looks like the proper one. So, um, yeah. Although we've got this problem area here, so there, there, there. Three candle reversal. And this one is through all the resistances. Let's have a look. Sorry, my computer seems to be a bit slow today. Plus, I'm tired. That's the three candle reversal. The 
so that was 42.19 and the open of that candle 42.19 so that's considered to be a break as far as I'm concerned so still not the best example because we haven't got you know a long run to uh, without this area in, in a problem area for a target but you hopefully you can see what I'm trying to say you need to be of attack to have attacked this area preferably below it to be honest with you and as you can see when this has gone down through it closed through it it's come back used it as resistance and then continued down so that's following the principle What's this one there? Is it gone? Right, so that is the swing one. Swing one, two, three. So you can clearly see that's a that's a proper 2B reversal as it were. So is that now, seeing them all over the place. And as you can see, when this actually breaks down, it has closed through there. Not the perfect one because that's just too big a candle, but uh, let's have a close look at this one. So that's your low that you need to close through. There's the close through it, and that's the difference. See, we've closed through the nearest candle's high. There's no high there, so um, you know you expect a problem there, which you can see we had. price pushed through it and then used it as a um, you know area to push back up to almost so um, hopefully you can see the difference we're, we're not trading into any close resistance we've broken and closed through the resistance unlike the situation where um, on your image there we're trading straight into the resistances of these price basically has just come back to test if resistance will hold as support and then up it goes so you want to be closed through all that resistance there so that low that high rather needs to be closed through preferably through the support too if you can so try to um, avoid trading into um, old resistance that's been tested as support but not um, not uh, broken through. Go back to your original uh, setup, which was here. So if we go to the 15 minute chart, it should be actually clearer what uh, what you potentially traded into, which was all of this stuff here. There which is part of a downtrend so clearly that is resistance that's forced price down that's acted as support so you want to be deep into this when you close with your uh, potential 2B reversal or 1, 2, 3 reversal uh, and then you're good to go because the point is this has forced this high above that high so it's, it is valid support it needs to be um, ideally broken through the support but at the very least resistance should not have held as support which it did in this case okay I hope that's clear clarified things a little bit have a look at them all and see the ones that uh, other examples rather see the ones that failed and why they failed and the ones that continued and it will almost always be because you haven't got a situation like this in the way of you okay David thanks for watching have a good day And apologies if I'm a bit fuzzy, I'm very tired, I've been up all night.